I'm going to show you how you can complete a schedule from a list in Excel. Here I have um, a location schedule and I have Monday to Friday and I have location one to four. Now, I would like to put people in here. Um, each location can have several people in there, but we'd like to know who's where and what. So we have another, we have a list in here on sheet one. I have a list of people. Um, this is names from the random name generator. Um, and so I have them picking a day and a location. Now, this could be um, locations in a building. This could be pieces of equipment at a gym. This could be a number of things, but it's just trying to figure out who else is, who's doing what on what day. Okay, so what we're gonna do is I've gone to my developer tab. I've gone to my macros and I've called this macro charting. So let's run this. And there we have all of the people in their slots they've asked for. And then we have several people in some of them. And that's just fine. We just want to know where everybody is at every, um, at every location during the week. So now let me show you the code. So I've named this charting. Um, I've named uh, R and C for row and column is long, name is a string, location is a string, day is a string. And then I have to set some ranges, find day as a range, find location as a range, day column as long, uh, location row as long. And now um, we're talking about this first sheet with the names on it. So row two, because I have um, a header row on here. And so I say, um, do while if there's not a blank here, so it's a do while loop. And so now name equals the first column, um, location equals the third column, and day equals uh, the second column here. And then I'm going sheet two activate. So let me just go activate this and we will continue on. Okay, so now what I have it do is um, I have it search for, from, for these locations through here until it finds the location that the person is looking for. And then that uh, the location, the row is whatever the location is. And so that's the location row. And then I select this cell here for one, two. And then I say, so if um, C, for C uh, two to six, so that's Monday, Monday to Friday. And I go, if cells one, C equals day, then uh, day column equals C. Um, if not, you go to the next one. And then if, if it is, then you go to the next one. If not, then you keep going to this loop until your day column uh, day equals the day column. Okay, now what I've done here is I say sheet two, which is this one, um, location row and day column select. If the active cell value is is blank, then active cell equals name. So it puts a name in there and it makes it bold and it, the interior color is 34, which is the blue. And I make sure that if their name is long, it's still going to fit in there. So I select, say selection entire um, column auto fit. But if um, active cell value, if it's not empty, then the else is active cell value equals now this is a trick, active cell dot value and DBA new line and name. So this way it's not, one name is not going to overwrite the other name. It's going to go in the next, uh, in the next line. So then I, then I do the same thing. I say active cell uh, font equals bold, active cell interior color equals 34, selection entire column auto fit, and then end diff, and then we're going um, R equals R plus one, and then we're going the loop. And so that is how we can put all of the names in these facilities um, and not overwrite them. And then we can put them in each location in, in the correct day. I will, of course, include all of this code in the description of my video. Please subscribe.